Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 427. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college asset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 423 to 430. Hey, in this trick here, we have an input date, and we need to figure out what day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, five years in the future is. We'll see two different formulas, one that'll work in more current versions of Excel and one in older versions. Then we'll see um, a formula for finding December 31st of that year and just um, a formula that will find the day of any date you type in, not five years in advance. Now I have a bunch of notes as always. Uh, we're going to be using lots of functions and custom number formatting. So if you want to see some basics, uh, download this and click on those links up there. Alright, the first uh, trick is uh, how do we go from this date to a date five years uh, ahead. Well, first we'll use the e date function, the e date. The start date, I'm going to click right there, comma, and this needs months. How many months in the future? Well, we need five years times 12 months. And that, of course, give us the date. Now, this usually comes out as a serial date, and then I'm going to control one and format it as a date. Notice uh, all dates are a serial number, number of days since uh, December 31st, 1899. We click on date. I'm going to go down to custom. And I'm going to type a custom number format. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because in just a moment we're going to have to know the custom number format. I'm going to type DD and watch what happens up here. D, three D's gives us sun, four days gives us Sunday, the whole day. So four D's always gives us the day from the serial number date. I'm going to type a comma, space, and then M slash D slash Y. Alright, so there we go. That'll give us the date and the actual day, Sunday. The goal of this is to deliver the Sunday. This is format. That serial number is still under there, so if you use it in subsequent formulas, the serial number will show up, not the actual word Sunday, and that's what our goal here is to do. So I'm going to wrap the text function around this. T-E-X-T -E text function exists just to take a number and format it with a num some, uh, number format. So I'm going to type comma, and what's our number format for uh, spelling out the day, D, 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 close parentheses, um, I'm sorry, close, double quote, close parentheses. you got to have that uh, custom number formatting in double quotes. I'm going to copy this and click Escape. Notice that um, this, I just got rid of that formula. This is a number, so it's always by default aligned to the right. Delete, Control V, because I um, pasted that formula. Now, when you do that whole formula and enter it, oh, it's aligned to the left. That means by default, if you have the default setting, normal style, that means that's a word. And that's, we've successfully taken this date, shown the date five years in advance, and then converted it to text, which is what we wanted. If you don't have eDate, you don't have the analysis tool, back, uh, tool pack added in in earlier versions, this is the formula you need to use, text. And then instead of that eDate, will you do the date function? We'll take the date function needs the year, month, and day. Well, the year is simply going to be the year function, which looks at a date, and it will extract that 2009. But to that 2009, we need to add how many? Five. So that's for the year function, comma, the month, we'll do the month function, it'll extract that 10, comma, now it needs the day, well we'll use the day function and that's going to extract that 26, close parentheses, close parentheses. So that whole construction right there was equivalent to the E date. And then comma, in double quotes, D, 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 four Ds. And then that will do it for uh, getting from this five years in advance the actual name of the day of the week. Now, what about December 31st, uh, five years in advance? Well, we could, we'll use the uh, same text and we're going to use the same date, except for we're going to do a couple things different. The year, we just need uh, year of that date right there close parentheses plus or five that's the that's that's the only thing that's similar to our earlier ones and then comma the month well if it's December 31st the month is 12 comma the day well if it's December 31st it's uh, 31 close parentheses by the way this is dynamic of course so this will always give us the end of the the actual day 
that the end of the year falls on, whatever date we put in here. All right, so comma, and then in double quotes, D, 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 in double quote, close parentheses. So now the, the beauty of all this is now if we change our input here to uh, 5 slash 5 slash 2009, all of this updates. Monday is five years in the future, uh, and Wednesday will be the last day of the year. I'm going to control Z on that. Now, one last, uh, if you have just some random date like this in a cell and you need to, you don't have, you don't have any idea what uh, uh, 31st uh, 12 or whatever it is, um, how about the 20th, 12, 20, uh, the year 2020, I'm going to change this formatting, control 1, I'm going to change it to this one right here, so we see the whole year. All right, so we don't know what that is. Well, that's just simple. You just use the text. And you say, hey, that one right there, comma, and then in quotes, D, 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 D. Boop. And it will say, oh, that particular day is Sunday. All right, that's a little bit about uh, finding days of the week given an input date. We'll see you next trick.